Hello, I'm Mike Gorin. Welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Last time we began the Midgar raid and defeated the Turks for the final time. Now that I talk talk to uh, Barrett at the back end of the tunnels, I decided to swap him, swap Vincent out for him. Especially since Barrett and Kate Seth both have really good and unique dialogue coming up. When they when they're in their party, so I'm gonna keep Kate Sith there at least for now. Now, even though Barry has a double area growth weapon, I'm going to give him the max ray because let's be honest, I'm not sure on on I'm not really sure on much of anything at this point. So. Because that's literally all these material slots I have room for, so. Just gonna through. going hit through. Here's Yuffie. Come on, come on, come on! Not a whole lot, but that's something. Tifa. I'm all right. Go to the cannon. Must have slipped and fell from that water. Oh, okay. The screen went dark. That's why. Which way? Goddamn piece of shit cannon. Huh. All right. Do I go here? Dead end. And notice that there's the, these, num these numbers up on those walls. Well, if you take a left turn at those walls, you enter the sector plate. Had I been able to go even further past the double item glitch, I probably would have wound up back up at the tunnels for sec during the, sec the number 5 reactor raid at the beginning. Anyways, we found our ways back to Shinra HQ. No, no, the sister race not this way. Yeah, even though he says that. Hold on, I want to see something. Alright, so I do know there is like a weird way to get a specific item. But before I do that, so since this is our revisit to Shinra HQ, this is your last chance to pick up this Turtle's Paradise Flyer if you haven't already. So do that. Alright. Now I go in here. And the uh, clerk is no longer there, so I can pick up the pile bunker and master fist. These items flat. These weapons would have been amazing, and I mean absolutely amazing. Had we gotten them earlier, however, they are weaker than what than whatever best equipment Bear Tifa have, and they offer no XP growth. So. I don't think I need to use those elevators. In fact, I don't think I really need to get to any random encounters here. And we can explore the entire Shinra building up till the 65th floor. I wonder why. 65th floor encounters is still the same as usual. These guys will never go in or out of this room, and we can't enter the boardroom again. The encounters are the same as they were during the Trail of Blood sequence, so if you want to get into fight with these enemies, go ahead. 
I'm not, I honestly couldn't care less, though. So, why did I come back here, anyways? Well, there are some unique treasures for us to pick up, that's why. I already picked up the Pile Bunker and the Master Fist. Is it broken? Bang on it. There's nobody here to stop us from getting what we want. Yeah, let's get some rest. Might as well. And that megaphone is the HP shout. That is actually a first for us, and that, well, technically a, our second ultimate weapon that we've collected. For the most part, the ultimate weapons aren't really missable, per se. But still. And a glow lance for Sid. All of these are missable. It should be noted, too, that... Pretty much all of these floors will give us encounters. Let's see if any, there's anyone downstairs. In the library area. Nope, but looks like the mayor of Domino and his assistant have evacuated. I guess that makes sense since... The, since the 60th to 70th floors are the floor... Are the floored... When... Are the floored... Uh... Windowed floors that have their windows blown off. And the guard. So, every. So, pretty much everyone except for the people on the 66th floor, for whatever reason, have evacuated. Now we need to go down to the 59th floor. Why? Well, we. There is an item that we need to pick up, and I believe we get shortcutted. Going up, but going down, we don't. So we need. Also, there is an elixir at the halfway point if you haven't gotten that already. But I don't care about that. There is. This weapon is probably the hardest weapon to find in the entire game. It is very easy to miss it because of the short. Because this game shortcuts you. going one way, but going the other way, it's basically treated as the long way. For, I don't know why. And because you can get shortcutted, it's... There it is! The behemoth horn. Might as, well, might as well just make my way down the stairs. The rarest weapon in the game. So I'm making my way down, 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 down. And I think the elixir would have been on this floor if you haven't gone it already, or this one, one of the two. So for whatever reason, the game doesn't shortcut you when you go down the stairs. But if you go up the stairs, you get shortcutted. Unfortunately, there is no funny banter this time around, so I just have to keep on. Got just keep on trucking. But anyways, we're out of the Shinner HQ, we cleaned the whole place out. As a reminder, if there's anything you need to get from this place, get it now. Otherwise, it's gone forever. You know what, I'll create an emergency save just in case. Alright. 
So this is sector zero, so we gotta go back one. Here we are, sector eight. This is where we need to be. Should be know that sectors one through seven are closed off. Okay, good, I can go back. Why is that a good thing? Well, we'll see, wait and see. All right. That's around. All right. I'm a little nervous because this boss can be pretty tricky. What the hell is that? No. No way. I didn't know they completed it. And the order is actually based off of priority, so Barrett has priority of Kate says, so Barrett speaks first. Yeah ha ha ha! Here they come! Yeah ha 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 ha! So they really did show up! And Barra has more reason than anyone to fight these two. You sure treated us like dogs till now. You killed many of my precious soldiers. You killed many of my precious soldiers. Yeah, ha, ha. But let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery. You guys are worthless, but my proud creation is great. I'll show you the destructive power of the Proud Clod. All right. Unfortunately, I'm gonna go all on an all-out offensive and mime that. And I decided to just turn up to deactivate the uh the battle boost. Don't really need them. Hades is kind of useless in this fight, so... I'm going to summon Alexander here. I want to make sure I kill the jammer armor first, so that's why I'm just mimicking Bahamut Zero and using group attacks and stuff. The reason for this is because the jammer armor is worth 1500 AP, which is beyond ludicrous. There we go. Now this guy has 60,000 HP, Proud Claw himself. So I'm not going to be able to do a ton of damage using limit breaks. 
Except for maybe Barrett. Me Bend. Terra Flare. You know what, I th I'm actually thinking, you know what, I could do it. I'll just have, I'll just have Kate Seth spam the mine command from here on out. And I think we are going to be mastering a huge swath of materia coming soon. So that looks like the plan. Just spam, just mime spam. I just need to wait up, wait this thing out. Dun, dun, dun. Terra Flare. Well, I'm just gonna speed boost this thing. I think I I think I've almost got him. Since he's been down, I gotta go all out. Ooh, bar. HP absorb, MP absorb, both mastered. And I got the Ragnarok, thus one of the best weapons in the game for Cloud. No way! This is the Pro Claude! Whoa! We don't have any time. Please, get on with it. So? Looks like we already have...
And I want to go to the level 4 drill arm. We have exactly 12 more materia left to master. And what's... So, what's the status update for the others? Hmm, Morph is almost there. Mime's almost there. Full Cure's almost there. It's definitely coming. Sneak Attack, Quadra Magic. Oh, luck plus is is almost is upon us. Cool. I'm gonna skip ahead. Because there's a cutscene that's coming up that I don't wanna. And I wanna remove Keith Sith for that. What? Let's do Red 13. Let's be safe. Let's. Silver Omelet? Ribbon. Why not? I don't even know who I want to bring for the fight against Hojo. But regardless... There we are. And this place looks familiar, doesn't it? We were there at the very in the very first episode. God, that brings back so many memories. It's just from a different p standpoint, and we have this this ladder, uh, this stairs to climb, and a missile. The very first. This way, Cloud. He's beckoning us. Alright. Speak with Vincent here. Damn, Hojo. And that's why I removed Vincent from my party. And chose not to bring him back. Hey, this is... And you need Barrett for this. Absolutely. The scene score. This is great. Hold on, Hojo. That is Barrett's ultimate weapon, and if he's not in your party when you enter the screen, that chest disappears altogether and you can never get it again. <sighs> now, we can't go back to just outside the number one reactor anymore. But we have some time... For so, time for some late breeding. Uh, late, uh, sorry, late grinding. So, let's do that. Everything appears to be in order. And this is also, adds up, last chance to get... To get a very... Oh, shit. The 8-inch cannon and the Shinra Alpha. 8-inch cannons are 
guaranteed drops from those, uh, from these tanks right here. So, flashing touch. Luck. Volkir. And there is another enemy that you can run into that has... And the, and the AH cannons are guaranteed drops, by the way. Assuming, of course, you kill the right part before you kill the main part body. I think that's all we encounter on the screen are those cannon things. So let's go up there. Vincent is still there moping. The Syndra first class. If you, you can steal uh, from these enemies. It is actually possible to steal Shinra Alphas. Last chance to grab both of these pieces of equipment, but too, by the way. But you know what? I don't need another Shinra Alpha. I want to get my party ready for the big fi fi for the big finale. To do that, I need what I need quality weapons. Cloud is guaranteed to win every single one of these encounters. Mark my words. I believe there is also another enemy up there that you can steal an eight an eight inch cannon from. But I don't care about them. Oh yeah, the Maximum Chimera. That's the only other encounter I haven't run, ran into. They have nothing to steal, they have nothing to drop, but they do have a guard source that you can morph out of them. Like EA or something. Alright, I need one more materia to master. Guess Folk here is it. And then I can swap them out for Sid here. Or whoever. Mission touch. Oh, there is a reason for me to fight these guys. A box. Holy crap, 900 gil- 900... I don't need to run into them. Uh, what is this thing? I 
X camo. Here. What's the X cannon? X cannon has turbo ether drops, and that's it. They're only worth my. Huh. Well, that was disappointing. Soldier first class, and the X cannons are worth. Trying to figure out where this last enemy is at. Soldier First Class also has. I'm trying to think. They have nothing else. There we are. Not, uh, not. <sighs> Talk about false advertisement. That's it. I'm staying down here. This is the premier grinding spot of, of the Shinra raid. Uh, cut, MP Turbo, Ultima, Folk here is about ma ready to be mastered. Alright. That's why. That's why it's been so slow. Silly me. Mission touch. Folk here was born. And with that, I think we are just about done with this place. Alright, uh... Let's see here. Think that Ultima is now the final one to uh, the final magic material left to master. But I think it's time to wrap this up. Next time.
If there is a next time. Actually, there will be a next time. I We are going to take down Hojo once and for all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With all that out of the way, this is Mike Gorn, sign out.